Hey y'all, Elijah Prevet here, and we gotta talk about this. Redfin thinks that the market is crashing, and I wanna show y'all um, three points. I wanna make three points to you as to why the market is going down and what Redfin has to say about it. Cause you know, I'm team Redfin, I work at Redfin, um, and I'm also going to give my personal opinion and what I'm seeing in the market right now. So let's get right into the video. I've got some articles pulled up here for you, so I'm gonna flip the screen right on over. Um, so first, I've got this article pulled up here and uh, it's talking about home sales post rare may decline as mortgage rates rise. So um, again, talking about mortgage rates rising, Home prices rose 1.5% month over month in May, their smallest increase of any May in Redfin's records, which go back to 2012. Um, so yeah, you know, mortgage rates are going up and, um, and, and that's causing home buyers to step back and home sales decrease. So uh, if you come back down to this chart here, seasonally adjusted home sales down 10% year over year. And that is a big point. See, a lot of people like to make the argument like, okay, yeah, you know, but inventory is still low. Like, okay, but inventory is still low. So home prices are gonna be up. Inventory is low. But if you could imagine that there are 100 homes for sale in the marketplace, and let's say that, um, instead of 100 of the homes selling, 50 of the homes sell. Well now, there's 150 homes supply on the market, and then that happens again, and now you've got 225 homes for sale on the market. And over time, that supply increases, and that's the point. You increase that supply, you're lowering demand with mortgage rates, and thus, home prices go down. That's what happens. So. Um, there, there's, you know, there's more homes for sale, so home prices go down. So that's the first point, home sales are down. Um, the second thing I wanna show y'all, this article here, um, that's interesting, again, surging mortgage rates and home prices are causing more buyers to back off. That means sellers are less likely to receive multiple offers, but they'll also face less competition when they buy their next home. So this is a, a cool point. Um, specifically to Redfin nationwide, 57.8% 57 of home offers written by Redfin agents faced competition on a seasonally adjusted basis in May, which is the lowest level since February 2021. That's down from a revised rate of 60.9% one month earlier and a pandemic peak of 68.8% one year earlier. So that is, very interesting um, because I remember uh, agents in my office talking about like how crazy it was. Every single home was multiple offers. Every single home they were facing competition. And it's interesting to see here that Redfin agents are experiencing less competition when writing offers on homes. Um, and it's interesting to see that data here because for me personally, as an associate agent showing homes, I'm noticing a back off of people like, whoa, hold on, wait, mortgage rates are going up? Like, I, I don't know if I can afford this anymore. And I'm noticing a back off of people touring homes. And I know a lot of you guys have talked about it in my comment section that you're noticing um, a decline in home tours as well. And so it's definitely, there's a shift there. And it's just interesting to see Redfin say from their agents, like, hey, you know, go, we're, we're experiencing uh, less competition here. Um, in our offers. And then another article I wanna show you is raising mortgage rates and the Fed's actions to combat inflation will further stretch home buyer budgets. Um, so home buying has never been more expensive. The typical buyer with a 30 year fixed rate mortgage is looking at a monthly payment of $2,514 up from $1,692 a year ago. Those who remain in the market may notice they face less competition from other buyers, homes are more likely to sit on the market for a few weeks compared to last year when they would go under contract within a week. Um, and that's so true. Like I'm seeing price reductions left and right. A lot of agents that I've spoke to are seeing price reductions left and right. 
very uncommon, right? Very different from a year ago. And so um, I think that's just another indication. You have price reductions, you have less home sales, you have higher interest rates. That just shows where this market's going. But I have to say, I don't think that we're gonna have a full-blown crash. And I actually agree, agree <laughs> with uh, Taylor Marr here, who is the, uh, the uh, Redfin's deputy chief uh, economist. And uh, she said, quote, the housing market isn't crashing, but it's experiencing a hangover as it comes down from an unsustainable high. Housing demand has already cooled significantly to the point that the industry has begun facing layoffs. I'm gonna to get to that in a moment. This week's rate hikes will further stretch home buyers' budgets to the point that many more may be priced out. While a lot of home sellers are dropping their prices, more homeowners will likely decide to stay put now that the mortgage rate on new home is significantly higher than their current one. So, yeah, that just speaks to everything we've already said in this video. And on the layoff note, Redfin um, is laying off employees. They um, are saying that to all departing people who put your faith in Redfin, we're sorry. We can't keep our commitment to you with May demand 17% below expectations. We don't have enough work for our agents and support staff and fewer sales leaves us with less money for headquarters projects. So they're laying people off. They're laying off like I think 8% of employees. Um, I don't believe that's in independent contractors, but um, asking 8% of our employees to leave Redfin today or about 6% if you include the people of RentPath and Bay Equity, which is different parts of, uh, of their partners of, of Redfin. Um, so anyways, I hope that y'all found this video informative and interesting. Um, it's just it's just interesting to see what Redfin's, Redfin's got to say here. If you wanna confirm any of the information I mentioned, go to uh, Redfin's data center and take a look at that. But anyways, if you like the video, please like it, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.